As good as the Richard Burns Rally Simulator is, there are some things that the developers never finished. Uh, if you look around at the textures and the sounds and so forth, you see like the rescue helicopter and things. And uh, one of the things they never finished was the ability to turn the headlights on and off. You notice the headlights are always on on these cars. Here, I've got the uh, Hyundai accent here. So you'll see here, the headlights are on. And the car drives through the camera here, you'll see the taillights are also on. And you hit the brakes, but the you know, taillights are on, now the, now the brakes are on. So if you look at the actual textures, you can see that they intended for the lights to be able to be turned on and off. You see here's the headlight in an off state, and here's the taillight in an off state. Now there's the, the running light and the brake light state. So they intended that to be there. And so I figured there's got to be a way to, to turn the lights off. And indeed there is. Uh, it's just not coded into the software to where you can have a switch to, to do it. But you can set it manually. And so let me show you how to do that. So uh, for the Hyundai, you're going to go to Richard Burns Rally, Cars, Accent. And uh, there are two files you're going to need to edit. Accent.ini and Accent underscore settings to INI. Or, you know, whatever, for whatever car. The, for the Corolla, it'll be, it'll be you know, Corolla, INI, Corolla settings, INI and so forth. Uh, you probably want to make copies of these two files first so you can have a, a lights on and a lights off version. Uh, let's go to the settings first of all. This is for the light glows. So you hear you have rear brake lights. This is for the glow. You, you want to keep that. And here's the left you know, brake light. And here's the front lights. These are the headlights. Well, we don't want these on. Um, there are two things that I do. I, I, I don't think saying active false will do anything. What I do is I go down here to size. You can't actually remove this. If you remove this, the game will crash. But you can change the size to zero. The size line to zero, zero. No, no more light glow. Uh, you can also change this to false. I don't, I don't know if it does anything, but uh, why not? Or fax, eh? Yeah, false. I can type. And uh, do, so this is point light left front, point light right front. So we'll do the same thing. We'll change this to false. Or faxy. False. And change the size to zero. And then rear permanent lights section. These are, these are the, the running lights. Point light left back. We'll do the same thing. Change the size to zero. That size of three was way too large for, those any, for that anyway. Usually a tail light would be like point 0.1 or point 0.2. And change this to false. And change that to size 0. Okay. Uh, sorry, I changed that down there. Yeah. <laughs> Got to watch the, where I'm pointing the camera. So let's go ahead and save that. And now when we go back into Richard Burns Rally, you'll see that the light glow is gone, but the light on texture is still being used. You see that? And likewise with the tail light. See, there's a glow with the brakes on and there's brakes off, but you still have it looking like the lights are on. So now we need to edit the other file, the plane.ini file. And this one's a little more complicated to edit, but we'll go ahead and do it. So here's accent.ini. And now we're going to need to scroll down. Get that out of the way. So we need to find the E underscore yeah, okay here you go here you see E underscore light break that's your brake light uh, for some reason they have the lit somewhere else the, the different cars have these in different places so it's kind of weird so the one that doesn't that, that do not say brake here the E light LB lit that is the tail light in the run, in the running state. So we don't want it in this lit state. So what we're going to do is for predicate change it to not used with a capital N and a capital U, not used and not used true. That means it's true that it is not used. Again, you cannot remove this or the game crashes. And then I go up here for the LB that's not lit, E light LB and change the predicate to on and switch true. So that I means it's true that this light is on at all times. 
it's not not that the light is on, it's that the off state is on. Understand that? It's kind of weird. But this, this, this was the off state and this is the lit state. So we want the regular state to be on at all times. And this is left back, so we need to, we'll need to find the right back as well. And here's the headlight. And it's the same thing, LF and LF lit. So again, we're going to change that to on. And we'll change this one to not used. All right, now here's the rear tail lights. Same thing. On, down here, not used. The lit state. And the reverse lights are fine. And let's see, here's the right front headlight. So I'll go ahead and save that. Cannot create the file. Why not? Oh, it's a read-only file. Huh. You'll need to change the file not to be read-only. So properties. Turn off the read-only state. Apply. And now I can go back and save that. Okay. That's where the, the uh, Subaru <laughs> that I did already was not set read-only. All right, so let's go back in. Sorry, I have my sound turned down so you can hear me talking. Headlights are off. And the taillights also off. Except when the brake turns on. And that's how you do it.